Okay, I, well, I wanted to keep the bone in the steak, but it's looking extremely inappropriate. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Raw Shaw, and today I'm in my kitchen! The YouTube room is currently being remodeled, and so we're stuck here for now. In my recent food transformation video, I asked you guys what you wanted to see next. And Chef PK, fellow YouTuber and longtime viewer, suggested that I turn a piece of steak into a titan of attack on titan which is perfect for our new setting season four just ended and you guys have been wanting attack on titan fan art for the longest time so before we get started let's head to the grocery store and pick out a piece of meat um, i'm looking at this tomahawk there's like a big bone on it We got kicked out of the grocery store within like seconds of browsing, but it's okay. Uh, we got a tomahawk steak, which is $37. What? Oh my God, this is, so, this is so heavy. Yeah, the bone, you know, a lot of meat and fat. So this colossal is gonna look super juicy. So see you guys back at the house. So we're back home and now we have our two and a half pound of tomahawk steak. So now let's take our reference photo for a painting. Oh, oh, they even left the sprig in here. We should use this, look at this. I'm so sorry, vegans, vegetarians, you read my title. You knew there was gonna be a lot of steak in this. Here we go. Oh my God. I feel like I'm in an RPG, you know. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> Oh my God. We'll find a way to use this somehow. So we'll put it here and then wash my hands. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I don't really uh, <laughs> know what the end result is. All I know is this is gonna be the Titan and we're gonna use the sprig somehow. Stick with me, we'll figure it out. Okay, I, well, I wanted to keep the bone in the steak, but it's looking extremely inappropriate. <laughs> Let's move this in. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Here's the progress of our piece right now. It's, uh, it's getting there. I think there's a clear story. I'm trying to do, you know, big versus small, steak versus sprig, titan versus man. I'm trying to play with those polar opposites as much as I can for us to feel that contrast. Nice, it's Definitely coming along, and I wanna take a quick second to talk to you about the different composition tricks I'm using right now. You can see the straight line down the composition, and there's so much tension. I wanted to have an intensity between the competing characters. Straight lines in art represent stability, you know, structure, but if the whole piece was echoed with straight lines and grids, it would be too clean, it would lose the intensity of our midline. And that's why all the other elements in the painting are diagonals, with this rock wall, with these foreground fog with these clouds in the back is to make the piece more dynamic. And so there's a contrast between their tension and all the organic elements flowing around them. Also, I chose a more iconic imagery, you know, closer to season one, season two vibes. This is a no spoiler video. So I want no spoilers of season four in my comments or I will throw this tomahawk steak at your head. So our piece is coming along. I'm really digging this character silhouette and our Titan's head. Oh my God, look at that. So right now I'm gonna choose this brush for my advanced brush pack. I love using the brush for fogs and clouds because one side of the brush has a sharper edge and the other side is softer. So we're gonna use this brush to give some volume and form to our foreground fog. Before, after. 
If you're interested in grabbing this brush and a bunch of others, you can head to rockdolls.com slash brushes to grab my advanced brush pack. Speaking of fog, I am going to add some atmospheric perspective to this painting. Basically what it means is that objects that are closer to you, the viewer and the camera are higher contrast in value, color, detail and saturation. And things that are further away from the camera have less of that. So I'm gonna use the sky color and add a layer of fog. Ooh, look at that. What I'm also gonna do is blow out some of these edges. Now I feel like the Titan is a little more cohesive with the scene. And so I'm just gonna finish it up. I'll check right soon. This piece is looking really close, you know? It's almost color dodge time. But I wanna tell you guys to keep an eye out for next week's video because I'll be announcing a new draw list in your style to go hand in hand with my new merch. Here's a sneak peek. Oh, I don't wanna to show too much. I'm so excited for this collection because it celebrates my five years of being here on YouTube. So keep an eye out for next Friday. time. Oh man, here we go. Ooh. Oh. You want to fight? Let's fight. Yeah, take that. Yeah. 